hello everyone in this lecture i am going to discussing about the how to derive the deformation of uniformly tapering rectangular bar here bar of steel is of length l and having uniform thickness small t as shown in the figure so in the figure we have to observe that one so width of the bar is varying from small a to small v so whereas small a is the width of the bar at the bigger end so small b is the width of the bar at smaller end so width is varying from a to b along its length so then we have to find the extension of the rod when it carries an axial pull of capital p so let's see the solution consider any small section at xx distance is small x from the smaller end here xx is let us consider at xx any small portion so this is the let us consider this is a small portion at xx and distance is small x from the smaller end and also have to consider length of the this one is this section is delta x so here wx is we are considering width of the this small section and now we have to find the relation of this wx in the terms of the a b l and x see how it is came here width of the section that is we are considering wx equal to b plus a minus b divided by l into x let's see how this relation is came see here so let's draw the one straight line at the end of the smaller ends just try to draw the two straight lines so the total width of the this section is let us we are considering the small a this is the width up to this portion this is the small b so small b is the width of the smaller section so remaining portion is this portion this is and this is so this is the a minus b total so here uniformly is varying mean so here a minus b divided by 2 here also a minus b divided by 2 similarly same thing we have to apply for this smaller section also we are considering wx is the width and delta x is the length of the this small section and up to here this is the x and let us consider so here here also same thing you have to draw the so two right lines horizontal lines at the from the end of the smaller end smaller end of the bar so this portion is b and remaining portion is this portion and this portion it is the wx minus b so here bar is uniformly varying mean here wx minus b divided by 2 here also wx minus b divided by 2 here wx minus b divided by 2 and this portion also wx minus b divided by 2 and now we have to so and we have to observe that one this is the let us consider this is one triangle so this is one triangle similarly this is also let us consider one triangle then we have to apply the properties of symmetric triangles then we have to observe that one a minus b divided by 2 divided by this length of the this portion is capital n it should be equal to the same thing we are considering this is also one triangle so here also wx minus b divided by 2 divided by x so this is the relation we are obtaining this relation from these two triangles so that is the a minus by 2 divided by l equal to wx minus b by 2 divided by small x here 2 2 will get cancelled then it will become so a minus b l a minus b divided by l equal to wx minus b divided by x from these two we will get wx value is 
a b plus a minus b divided by l into the small x. Here, width of the section that is w x equal to b plus a minus b divided by l into the x. Here we have to consider a minus b divided by l equal to the k. Then width of the section that is the w x should be equal to the b plus k x. So next we have to find the extension of the this small portion. So next we have to find out the this extension of this small one. So we know that one. So extension or maybe the deformation that is delta equal to the p l by a. So here we are considering the small section. Then the deformation also should be the very small. Then this deformation of the, the small section that is the do delta. See here, so do delta. So delta is generally deformation of the any member. So that is the P L by A. E. So here we have to go first. We have to find the deformation of the this small section. That's why our deformation is do delta. That is the P L by A. E. General equation is P L by A. E. Here length of the small section is delta x. So P delta x by A. E. So area. So then we know that one for the area of the rectangle section is. So for this portion, that is we know that one. This is the width is w x and thickness is the uniform. So thickness is the t. So then area of the rectangle section is width into the thickness. So width is already we consider b plus k x into the t. So our extension of the small section that is the do delta equal to the p do x divided by b plus k x into t into e. So next we have to find the extension of the whole length. So first we find the deformation of the this small section that is the do delta. Next we have to find the deformation of the entire section that is that let us consider delta. So how to find out this one is it is the summation of the deformation of the all the small sections summation of deformation of the all these small section that is we have to write down so delta e equal to summation of from where to where we are considering from smaller end to the bigger end so when x equal to 0 then the location it will become the smaller end when x equal to l that is the location it will be the bigger end so now we have to find out the deformation of the so whole length that is the delta it is the summation of the deformation of the all the small sections so that is the summation of so do delta so limitation is from x equal to 0 to and x equal to l so this is we have to write down integration of 0 to l and we know that one do delta equal to p del x divided by a e so area equal to the wx into the t so wx we know that one b plus kx into the t then we have to substitute do delta is in this equation we will get integration of 0 to l p do x divided by b plus kx into t into e e is the x modulus here p and p by t e these are the constants then these are taken outside from the integration then p by t e into integration of 0 to l so do x by b plus kx see you have to see this one this is in the form of so 1 by x integration of 1 by x dx what is the formula of 1 by x dx it is the log x so but here x is in the form of the a plus bx form then so this formula will have to write down the log of a plus bx so divided by d by dx of a plus bx so here d by dx of a plus bx it should be the b same thing here also have to apply that one see here integration of 0 to l 
do x by b plus kx should be equal to the so p by t it is the constant so log of a plus bx so log of a plus bx divided by d by dx of b plus kx so what is the d by dx of b plus kx it will become the 1 by k so it is will become 1 by k so p by t are initial constants and 1 by k is the once again the constant then this value will become log of b plus kx then limits in so lower limit is 0 upper limit is the 6 then i have to substitute here 0 values and the l values in the x then we will get the equation is that is the extension of whole length that is the delta equal to p by kte these are all the constants p by kte into log of first we have to substitute l value so b plus kx x mean l so b plus kl minus next we have to introduce the so x zero as the x value then it will become minus log of so b so this is you have to write down directly here i am writing so this value entire value should be the equal to the log of b plus kl divided by small b then this is where to write down p by kta into log of so just we have to write down the substitute k value in this equation we will get the we know initially we are assuming that one a minus b divided by l is the k then we have to substitute k value in this equation we will get p by kte into log of b plus k value is a minus b l into the l so divided by b so here l l will be cancelled and b b b b minus b also will be cancelled then log of a by b so next step is it will become delta that is the extension of the whole length it will be equal to the p by kte log of a by b so once again i have to substitute k value here so then our extension of the uniformly tapering rectangular ball is equal to the pl by a minus b t into e into log of a by b so this is the solution and thank you